In the lush green jungle, where the sun peeked through the thick leaves, there lived a tiny hippo named Lipo. Lipo was a curious and playful little hippo, with big round eyes and a wide friendly smile. Lipo loved to splash and play in the muddy river that ran through the jungle. He had a special friend named Sandy, a wise old crocodile who always had a twinkle in his eye. Sandy was always there to protect Lipo from the dangers of the jungle. One sunny day, as Lipo was swimming in the river, he noticed a beautiful purple flower floating on the water. He reached out to grab it, but the flower was too far away. Lipo was disappointed, but he didn't give up. He called out to Sandy, 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 help me, I can't reach the flower, Sandy smiled and said, don't worry Lipo, I'll help you. Sandy swam over to the flower and gently pushed it towards Lipo. Lipo was so happy to have the flower, he gave Sandy a big hug. Thank you Sandy, Lipo said. You're the best friend a hippo could have. Lipo proudly carried the flower back to his home, where he showed it to his mother. His mother loved the flower and put it in a vase on the windowsill. But the next day, when Lipo went to look at the flower, it was gone. Lipo was heartbroken. He searched high and low, but he couldn't find the flower anywhere. Lipo went to Sandy and told him what had happened. Sandy listened patiently and then said, Don't worry Lipo, I have an idea. Sandy led Lipo to a nearby tree where a family of monkeys lived. Sandy called out to the monkeys, Hello my friends. Have you seen a purple flower anywhere? One of the monkeys jumped down from the tree and said, Yes, Sandy. We saw a purple flower earlier, today. A silly bird stole it and flew away. Lipo was upset, but Sandy reassured him. Don't worry Lipo, we'll find that bird. Sandy and Lipo followed the monkeys into the jungle, and soon they came to a clearing. There, on a branch, sat a bright red bird with the purple flower in its beak. Sandy told Lipo to hide, and then he called out to the bird. Hello, little bird. Would you mind giving us back that flower? The bird looked at Sandy, and then at Lipo. Lipo looked so sad, that the bird couldn't resist. It dropped the flower to the ground, and Lipo ran forward to retrieve it. Lipo was so happy to have the flower back. He thanked the bird, and then hurried home to show it to his mother. Lipo's mother was overjoyed to see the flower again. She hugged Lipo tightly and said, Thank you, my dear Lipo. You have made me so happy. Lipo smiled and said, You're welcome, mother. I love you. And so, Lipo and Sandy continued to play and explore the jungle, always looking out for each other and having wonderful adventures.